Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, use your Xbox 360 controller, as you can see right here. Um, your Xbox 360 controller on your Mac. Now, you'll need two things. you need a wired controller, so a controller with the USB port at the back, so you can put it into your MacBook or Mac. And you need um, a software called uh, Joystick Mapper. The link for this will be in the description. So yeah, what you're going to do is go ahead and download it. And uh, once it downloads, <clears throat> you'll get a uh, folder. It'll, con it'll contain the Joystick Mapper. You also need another program. Uh, let me just go here. Called uh, I forget the name, but I'll tell you how to install the program. So what you're gonna do is here. Uh, you're gonna go and hold on. I'm just gonna find the website for you guys. Um, one second. So um. <sighs> Here it is. Uh, there we go. So a link to this will be in the description. So once you open this up, uh, you'll see this. So what you're going to do is right there under downloads, you're going to click on this and install the DMG. Once you install the DMG, uh, open it up, you'll get a folder. Uh, you'll get a folder and then, uh, where is it? Yeah, you'll get a folder and inside you'll, uh, inside the folder you'll find Joystick Mapper. So what you're gonna do, not, not Joystick Mapper, you'll find the, um, installation package and then, uh, and then you'll have to restart your computer. So after you restart your computer, what you're gonna do is go to system preferences right after you restart your computer after that. You should see this at the very bottom, Xbox 360 controllers. So you're gonna click on that. You'll see this. Now, if it says um, no device found, you're gonna plug in your USB and then it should start. If it doesn't start, then just restart your computer. So now, as you can see, um, Uh, let me just get my controller right here. As you can see, I'm moving this, and on the on the PC, it's doing the exact. It's highlighting all the things that I'm pressing. Uh, everything works. Now, if I hold this, it'll actually vibrate. So yeah, you just test out all the buttons. And now, um, what you can do, like, you won't be able to play games right away, but if you want to use it to, like, play games or use your Mac, what you're going to do is just minimize this, and you're going to download the file I told you to download earlier called Joystick Mapper. Now you're going to open up Joystick Mapper, and you're going to click Add a New Preset. And then you, this will open up, and then just... Uh, click new joystick and then new bind now you can set up what binds like you can do like you can type in a and then what um, bind what key you want a to stand for like say I want a for jumping so what you're gonna do is gonna press a in the thing you know, hover over it and then scan press a and then keyboard key I want it to be a so like that and you can create different types of presets. So I'm just going to delete this one because I have a, another one. But yeah, as you can see, uh, let's do Roblox. I made a preset for Roblox with all the keys and stuff. So what I'm going to do is click on use this preset. And now I'm going to launch up Roblox. Sorry if it's kind of blurry, but... Uh, where is my mouse? There it is. Uh, I'm just going to launch a random game. Let's go to, let's go to one of my games, because. 
profile. Now, it's gonna be kind of hard because I'm using one hand. Okay, now, I'm trying to show everything, but as you can see, remember, you just set this up on your own first. I'm moving the mouse with this. Press A to jump. Um. Oh, sorry. I select my knife. I can move around everything. Um, let me zoom in. See, I'm zooming in and out with this. Which is really cool. And I can move around like this. I can stab. I can hold my knife and let go. Yeah, it's just really cool. You can do whatever you want. It's, it's like using the Xbox One, Roblox and Xbox One, even though it's 360. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Sorry if it's unclear. Um, if you have any troubles, just comment in the comment section, and I'll get back to you. So, see you guys in the next one. Peace.